Have you ever noticed how all of our electronics are rigid? Even foldable phones are just rigid electronics with a hinge. Well, that might not be the case much longer. Researchers at MIT have developed a new method for making truly flexible electronic components that could change everything. Seriously, everything. Now, if you have folding cell phones, smartphones, this will take this to the next level where it will become integrated anywhere, in your eye, in your clothes, in your shoes, in your body. To understand this new technique, which researchers are calling the peel and stack method, we've got to look beneath the protective outer shells of our electronics to the chips inside. The reason computer chips are inflexible today is that they're traditionally made on a rigid underlying layer known as a substrate. The functional part of the computer chip, the part that does the actual computing that makes our electronics work, is just a few hundred nanometers at the surface. There just hasn't been a good way to separate the rigid substrate layer from the thin active layer on top until now. A simple analogy would be you fry an egg on a frying pan, but then they're trying to sell the egg and the frying pan together with you. So the cost becomes really expensive, right? Here, we basically created the oil between the egg and the frying pan, which is graphene for us. If graphene sounds familiar to you, it's probably because it's been widely touted as a wonder material for the past several years. One layer of graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms bonded together, and also happens to be one of the world's strongest materials, which makes it perfect for the peel and stack method. So the substrate is heated to a high temperature, and then the, the add atoms are flown either in a, in a gaseous state, or sometimes we use a plasma. So it's a very uh, intense and high energy process. And since graphene is so strong, it's such a robust material, it can kind of survive that kind of harsh environment, which makes this process sort of universal. Researchers say this new technique allows them to make thin, flexible layers of any functional material, and that these flexible layers can be stacked on top of each other and combined to create more complex, multifunctional devices. In the short term, an easy application would be integrating these devices into, for example, your, your contact lenses. But these also can be integrated into your skin because they're so thin. So now instead of having to carry your smartphone, you can have your smartphone in your skin. This feels like the beginning of what could potentially be a whole new category of electronic devices that go beyond wearables. And it sounds like this group of researchers at MIT are just getting started. In the long term, I think it'll be flowing in your body because it'll be so thin and non-invasive. You can actually potentially create devices where it flows through your body. It maybe attacks certain viruses. Uh, cancer cells. Right now we are busy actually applying this technology to create actual devices. One of my colleagues is creating a skin patch where it monitors your health. One of my colleagues is also working on a deep brain stimulation where he's probing the activity of your brain while simultaneously kind of controlling the activity of the brain. And this is only possible because you can now kind of stack them together and integrate these various devices into, into one one stack. What kind of flexible electronics would you like to see in the future? Let us know your thoughts, dreams, and sci-fi nightmares down below. To see how scientists are making graphene from trash, click here. And for more What the Futures, click here. Thanks so much for watching What the Fam. See you next time.